Oh. If that beast looking bitch jump on me and fucking hit and hurt me, I'ma dive in a fucking shit like a Navy SEAL training class. I'm telling you. I'ma keep on flexing. You don't like me, then I'm sorry. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey! What's happening, Beast fam, man? This is your boy for Rod. Hashtag Beast Squad. Hashtag motherfucking Savage. I'm doing great. Hope you. Yeah. I know you. Yeah. Cause that's all the fuck we do. You feel me? Go follow your boy on Twitter at Farai Robbins, and here we go right here, blue. Tweet me hashtag B Squad, bitch. I'ma follow you back. Fuck. If you wanna be a damn lame and skip on to the talking up back here, so go and skip back here if you wanna be lame and do that shit. Well, if you dripping with that motherfucking ravioli sauce, then holla at your boy and stick here. You know, we about to start some shit. So look, y'all, I'm at the crib right now. Maybe you ready to fucking leave. Go see my baby. Mm. <sighs> do a bunch of miscellaneous shit, make you laugh. And then that's when you're gonna piss on yourself from this right there. So look, make sure y'all like this video, man. I'll give you a second. <laughs> You do? Thank you. You already know. So I'ma holler at y'all when I get to my girl house. You already know. So let's hit it. Skirt up. Show y'all how I turn up when I'm by myself. Since you got your little rod, you've been going hard. Turn your gangster on before I send you up the guard. You ain't bought that life, you scared to go to jail. Before I tell, I'll ride up in that cell. Turn your gangster on, wrong, you a whole wreck. You testify now, that's who trying to get that time back. Turn your gangster on, I'm trying to preach in this when you ain't with your entourage. Okay, what's that to be, squad? Let's get to the shit. Okay, so look, there was a point in my life when I didn't say nothing to females. I didn't ever talk shit to them, even the hoes. I didn't say shit to them bitches. But then there was also a point in my life when I became public fucking enemy number one. And you wanna know what happened? I punched a bitch. That was my first time fighting a fucking female. Let me tell you how this shit started. Okay, so back in my younger years, just like all other stupid shit I did, I was that nigga. I was kaboom, kaba, kaboom, ba, ba. I was cool in the bitch, but lame as fuck at the same time. So, I ended up getting a girlfriend. I'm not gonna link too much to the situation because I don't want y'all putting two and two together and be like, oh, that's the bitch, no. I don't want to put it out there. I should, but I'm not. Free exposure. So me and her started dating, and the relationship was fucked up from the beginning. But you know, old stupid ass fucking Farage just don't want to get some shit through his goddamn big ass head. He want to be who the fuck he want to be and talk to who in the fuck he want to talk to. No one listening to nobody. So but despite the fact everybody telling me, oh, this relationship is not good, man. It's fucking horrible. Y'all keep fighting. Y'all keep arguing. Y'all keep hitting on each other. Da, da, da. I stay with the bitch, and we, I call myself trying to make it happen. And once again, this was after my first time being cheated on. I tell you. That. So me and the bitch ended up breaking up and we was like the relationship fell to fucking shit. It crumbled into nothing. It was suckish as fuck. And she sucked booty. Not my booty. Hell no. So once we stopped fucking talking and you know things going with the regular goddamn business. People find out we're not talking anymore. I do my thing, ha ha ha. She do her thing, ho ho ho. And then that's when it all went the fuck up in flames. So I say about a month, maybe two after this shit really went down. This bitch was kind of showing animosity towards me. You know I was in the hallway at school she looked at me like this. The fuck you look? And me being me, I'm like, bitch, I need to know what the fuck going on. So I didn't just brush this shit off. I instantly go into a bitch fight or flight, and I ain't no scared motherfucker. I ain't no running. So I get to asking around. I mean, what's wrong with this bitch, man? Why she looking? What the fuck wrong with that girl? Hey, man, why that bitch looking at me like that? Hey, what the fuck wrong with such and such, nigga? Hey, everybody say nothing, nothing. Oh, no, nothing, nothing. Oh, no, fuck she got going on. She tripped. Mm-hmm. Oh. Both stupid ass fucking people. And people ain't worth a damn. That's why all you bitches used to look like dehydrated fucking mosquito wings. Now you upgraded to bat legs, bitch. But enough of them stupid motherfuckers. Time keeps to go fucking on. She mugs me. She keeps fucking mugging me. So one day she says something. <laughs> she passed by me. Hey, bitch ass nigga. Back the fuck up. What? Man, you know me. I couldn't let it slide. So I'm like, who the fuck you talking to, bitch? Bitch, I ain't got no motherfucking sisters. I will beat your fucking ass. Come on. Stop fucking playing with me because I ain't said nothing to you. I ain't disrespect. You I've done nothing to you. I've been peaceful and you keep fucking with me. The teachers ain't doing shit. I was telling the teachers and the principals because I know me. I'm like, you put your fucking hands a bitch. She talking, she saying fighting shit. She doing fighting shit. So I'm like, I'm telling the teacher because I don't want fucking jumping no good. So I'm trying to prevent this shit. I'm talking to the teachers and the principal. Tell me so this bitch, she keep looking at me. She keep she she's do she doing she's showing signs of trying of ready to put her fucking
fucking hands on me, and I'm just telling y'all now, if that beast looking bitch jump on me and fucking hit and hurt me, I'ma dive in a fucking shit like a Navy SEAL training class. I'm telling you, I did the right shit. I told everybody, even the fucking police officer that worked in school, I told everybody to watch her, talk to her, get her, figure some shit out, change some schedules. But no, motherfucker say, are you worried about a female? Oh, okay, that bitch was big. Look, this is the biggest fucking girl I ever talked to. She wasn't fat, but this motherfucker had some weight, nigga. Like, this bitch was like thick and, you know, stocky, but the bitch had arms and fists. Her fucking fist was like a big ass ball of froze meat, nigga. That bitch could have hit me in my fucking jaw and slung all this shit somewhere else. Do you think I fucking want that? I was ugly enough, bitch. No, you're not finna now. <laughs> so, this is where shit really got fucked up. One fucking day. It was a goddamn Thursday. I'm coming down the hall to the class. We already had our looks for the day. I'm at school. I hadn't actually even thought about it. You know, every day before that, I had her on my mind. I'm like, I gotta watch this bitch, cause she... She, this, this, this motherfucker here gonna do something. Nah, I couldn't let it go. So I, I didn't think about it that day. I was like, I'm gonna go to school and have a good time. Ain't worth this bitch. Man, I come around this fucking hallway. This bitch standing in front of the class, across the hall from the class I gotta go to. I passed by that fucking class. And this bitch said, so you been talking about me? You been running your fucking mouth? The motherfucker pulled out a fucking pencil. Big stupid ass pencil. This is like some medieval shit. This bitch was, I swear to God, like a fucking sword. She pulled this long ass, super sharp ass pencil out and stabbed me in my fucking on. Man, that bitch spared no love. She swung that bitch. I ain't never been so fucking scared by the thought of this damn pencil going anywhere on my body. I was just instantly fucking shocked. Nigga. I was so fucking scared. Nigga, I'm thinking, oh my fucking god, she finna stab me in my chest, my heart, nigga, my lung. I smoke too much weed to have a hole in my lung. Damn. <laughs> Man, that fucking bitch. You can you imagine the feeling of knowing you about to get fucking stabbed like seconds before it into your shit? So, nigga, I was fucking paired, nigga. I flapped the fuck out, and that's when it happened. She stabbed me in the fucking arm I'm recording with. Look, I'm gonna show you. Right there, you see that big ass? You see that big motherfucker? Yeah, right there. She got my black ass. What you do for all then? <laughs> I fucking clicked. <laughs> Nigga, I mixed this bitch so many times so fucking fast. The pencil was in my fucking arm. I hit that bitch in her fucking eyes so hard with my left hand. Man, that shit sounded like this. So you know when a female hit a man and a man hit her ass back, it be crazy when they do it. But when that fucking first lick come, they snap back because you ever seen a motherfucker hit a man, they be like this. Ooh. But then when you hit her ass back, she go. Feel, feel a motherfucker. This boy, I hit the bitch. Look, dog. I don't condone hitting women. Check me out. But that bitch was getting put the fuck down then. I'm not playing. Man, I hit that bitch like three times with one fucking hand. Can you see that shit? How fast can you punch your one arm? Eh, eh, eh. Now imagine some fucking... I hit her in her right eye. I turned all this fucking shit right here into some fucking skateboard graphics. Shit, and was ready to do more. I pulled the fucking pencil out more because it was only in there about that deep. Man, that shit hurt so fucking bad. That ain't even the kicker. This the good shit here. Everybody looking at me like, whoa, whoa. What the fuck you just hit her for? I got boys ready to fight me because I hit them and I'm standing up like, shit, come on, bitch. I got a hole in my arm. I'll fuck one of y'all up. Come on. I'm ready for every last one of you, motherfucker. Come on. I, I hit her, bitch. I hit y'all too. I ain't scared of no man. <laughs> fuck with me. Come on. Try it and see what happens. Let's go. So the teachers take me down to the principal office, you feel me? This old bald head ass, ugly ass motherfucking bitch. That motherfucker looked at me and said his first word. Son, what the hell you doing out there hitting on them females? <gasps> <laughs> See what I wanted to tell his ass, bitch, I will hit your ass too. Stop fucking playing with me like I just hit her for the fuck her, cause I'm scared of me and no, I'll fuck you up, her, him, her, shmur, shmim, anybody. I don't give a fuck who it is. If God didn't stab me in my shit, you getting your ass hit, I'm telling you. God and Jesus, the only two things on this fucking world that can harm me. And I promise you, I won't do nothing bad. but another human being that piss eating shit. You getting your shit lit? You feel me? So I'm looking at him like, what you mean? I got a hole in my arm. I need. Come on, it, I'm bleeding. Motherfucker gave me a fucking band aid. Oh, but hold up though. Let's not talk too much shit. It was a big band aid, an expensive band aid. One of them bitches with the clear sides that don't come loose, and you can even take a bath in it. That's why the fuck I got scar tissue? Cause they didn't give me shit. They didn't call an ambulance. I got a fucking lead in my arm. They gave me a. Band that day. Just by the grace of the Lord, it healed up and I didn't fucking lose my own from gang goddamn green. So yeah, this is all fucked up in the world. And they sent her to the hospital. They ain't called shit for me. I just had to fucking deal with it because I'm a man. And my fucking arm over here bubbling and shit because she'd have stabbed me with a number nine pencil. That motherfucker looked like a damn light pole she pulled out her pants. Oh, but fuck it. He's a boy. He'll be all right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that had to be my... Yeah, that's the first time I ever fought a female. I ain't never fought another woman or a girl since then. But that shit happened and never in that school. The motherfucker 
motherfucking scene for Raw. They like, oh yeah, shit, bitch, don't touch him. He'll knock your ass the fuck out. And I ain't lying. She put her fucking hands on me to harm me. So bitch, it was life or death after that. I'm like, oh shit, she stabbing me. What the fuck I'm in pink? Get the fuck back! But look, man, yeah, that's come on. Don't beat on women because you're mad. But I believe in self-defense, so. Who the fucking wool? If I'm ever on your jury and you on trial for beating a bitch up that tried to fuck you up first, just know Farai gonna get back there and say he innocent, you feel me? I got you. <laughs> for real. But look, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Here go two more videos right here. The one I posted last night and something else. If you ain't seen them, go watch either one of them. La, 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 la. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave your boy a comment. Don't follow me on Twitter at Farad Robinson Savage. At Farad Robinson. Simple. It's been real till later on today. Cause I post all day, every day. And it's gonna be some fucking heat, you feel me? And I'm out. Peace. Ha!